Mike O.T. out of the room. So he is going to make his way through the audience, all the way to the back of the house, out the door, where he will make his way into outside. <laughs> and he is on. All right. All right. Great. So we're going to get five suggestions from you guys right now. And what I need first is for someone to shout out an object, any object. It could be like a bowling ball. It could be like a lightsaber. Any object. Yeah. What was it? Toothbrush. Toothbrush. What did you say over here, sir? Dildo. Dildo. Thank you. All right. Great. 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 What's your name? Oh. It doesn't matter. Your name. Your name now is Dildo Guy. Oh. In fact, everybody say hi, Dildo Guy. Hi, Dildo Guy. And he's like, Yeah, it's me. Peace. He's in the Middle East. I'm the old old guy. Uh, right. Uh, I heard. Uh, what did you say down here, sir? A stone. <laughs> stone. I'll take a stone. Thank a stone. you. Stone. Okay. Uh, now, um, we're really happy to have you here. Uh, yeah. We're, okay. Uh, now, shout out an exciting and interesting location, like uh, like the back of a magic shop or a mountain top. The, what? Venice. Venice. What about like a specific thing that you would see in Venice, like a like some like a water? water. What? No, 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 no. Oh, they gotta have a conference about what's the most exciting place. Saint George. Saint Giorgio Maggiore. What is it? <laughs> a church. Well, I'll take a church. All right. A church in Venice. There you go. A Venetian church. Uh, so, uh, what I need now is someone to shout out a request. In fact, I'm going to go to the balcony. I'm going to the balcony. Balcony, I want you guys to yell out a request. It could be anything from please do my laundry to marry me. Any request. Pick up the dog shit. Pick up, pick up the dog shit. All right, I'm glad I went to the balcony. Pick up the dog shit. Um, now, shout out an annoyance. Anything that annoys you, like waiting in line for a long time, or people who just want to talk about pregnant ladies. <laughs> Uh, and now, uh, I'm going to go to the back of the house. Back of the house, I want you guys to shout out your favorite movie quote. Like, we're going to need a bigger boat, or Luke, I'm your father. Any movie quote? You got me at hello. You got me at hello. Thank you very much. Is that the quote? You got me at hello? Got no, it's you had me at hello. Oh. <laughs> but we're, ta we're, we're taking it. You know, it's like... Liam, I am your father. Um, <laughs> so, you got me at hello. Uh, I, feel, I feel the need to remind you that we're all so happy to have you here. <laughs> even, even if we're making fun of you. Uh, okay, now we're going to bring Mike O.T. back into the room. So on the count of three, say, come back, Mike. One, two, three. Come, come back, back, Mike. Mike. and talk about technology, entertainment, and design. For those of you who have watched TED, then you know what it really stands for. Talking, ego, and did I mention the ego? <laughs> I'm going to give a TED talk about the one thing that I'm more passionate about in my life than any other. That's right, this is the carrot in front of my horse. This is the thing that drives me. This is the thing I'm an expert on. I'm talking about yes, stones, yes. <laughs> Stones, all kinds of stones. Rocks, pebbles, mountains. If it's a stone, I know about it. In fact, I get stoned every day. But I didn't know the value of stones until I was a boy. And I grew up in a normal place, a place many people grow up, at a church in Venice. That's right, I'm Italian. It's easy to tell when you see me, especially Venetians. They look like me. I was in a church in Venice because my father was a priest. It was a great childhood. And I, uh, I was going to the confessional booth every single day, and I thought, well, what is there to confess about? I have nothing to confess about. I am a child. I am pristine. And the father said, well, why don't you go outside and throw stones at somebody? I was like, no, father. The Bible says that things like that are bad. You should do no harm to other people. He said, but if you did, 
you could come back to the confessional booth and we could spend more time together. And that's when I realized the value of stoning. I walked outside, found a little pebble, and I threw it at somebody. That stone went so fast, it was that day that I realized that stoning is more than just a way of punishing people. And stones are more than just rocks in the ground. They are responsible for this wisdom. Pick up the dog shit, or else it turns to stone. That's right, everybody. It turns into that white, stony shit. You know what I'm talking about. Pick it up. And if you don't pick it up, all your neighbors should stone you, guys. And if you're one of those assholes who doesn't pick up his dog shit, you should go to the confessional booth, all right? You ruin it for everybody. Not just me. Not just people in your neighborhood. But you create a huge problem. Thankfully, stones can solve the problems of the world. Global warming, pollution, overpopulation, and pigeons. <laughs> Have you ever fed a stone to a pigeon? He hates it. It's really terrible. It ruins his day, and that's what pigeons do to you. They ruin their day. Plus, when pigeons shit, they don't pick it up. That's why we all should embrace stones. Take stones, throw stones, eat stones, and get stoned every single day. And if you don't believe me, then I'm going to look you dead in the eye and say, you got me at hello. I'm Mike O'Tee, and that is my TED Talk. Thank you very much. <laughs>